Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to fix a game named South Park to run on a modern Windows operating system like Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, etc. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So first of all, you need to insert the CD-ROM of the game in your disk drive. And then you have to open the setup.exe of the game. After the setup program opens, you need to click on the install button. The installation program should start and then you have to choose your language from here. So we can click next here and here you can choose your installation path. I will be installing at the default C drive. And now the installation is complete. So we can click on finish. So after the installation has completed, we can click on this quit button. So now if you try to run the game in your PC, the game will not run. This is because of incompatibility with the modern operating system. So you need to install some compatibility patches like we did in some other videos in the start of my channel. So you need to install some HDB files for which I will provide link in the description. Now as you can notice this file is named southpark3.hdb but we are dealing with the game named South Park. So what you have to do is you have to copy the uh, three files first of all, paste it in the directory or any place you want. And along with that we have to rename the file to southpark3.exe. If you don't do that, the uh, SDB file won't work because this file is registered for fixing southpark3.exe. Let me show you. See, you can see here it is uh, registered for fixing southpark3.exe. So the file only fixes uh, one problem, which is add write permission to device files. So this is the only fix that this SDB file fixes. And there are no, uh, none other fixes that occur with this HDB file. So we can now install the patch with uh, using this patch install.bat file. So after we have installed the file, now we can try to run the game. You can see that the game did not work. We will be now trying to run the game by double clicking. And now you can see that the game ran. So it was actually running in direct 3D mode. So if you uh, want to change to some other mode, the fix that I found is uh, rename this direct 3D, uh, video underscore direct 3D file to something else. So that the game does not find the file anymore. And let's see if we have Nglide installed. So we have Nglide installed here. Now we can run the game in the 3DFX mode. Let's try to run the game again. So we got the error message again. So now let's try to delete the file instead. Let's try to delete the other files also. So you are now getting the option for 3dfx custom driver. We will now click on OK so that it is just the Nglide uh, emulator. So you can see that the game is running with Nglide now. So the game has started. So now let's uh, start the game. Hello children, did you hear the news? What news? A big co- I need to find the other guy! So you can see that the mouse is working with the Nglide option. The mouse will also work if you are using Digivoodoo for uh, direct 3D
so now let's try the other alternative options now if you want to run the game with the uh, direct draw software acceleration you can do that you have three options one for high resolution one for high resolution with shading and another for low resolution with shading so this time nglide won't be used for the glide emulation two thousand years later one eternity later this is the most annoying part because you have to keep clipping, uh, clicking and clicking to run the game. So we finally got the options. So let's try with the high resolution with shade, uh, high resolution option. We won't be using shading now. So the software mode with high resolution without shading is working fine. Similarly the low resolution and the high resolution with shading should, uh, should work fine too. So now we will be trying out the direct 3D option. So we will be using DigiVoodoo in this case. So for direct 3D we need the direct draw and the direct 3D IMM.dll file and also the control panel if we want to change some settings. So I think the settings are good so let's try now. Remember that when you are changing graphics modes you may need to delete the other uh, video underscore uh, soft software or direct 3d or 3dfx files for a particular mode for example if you are using direct 3d you may need to delete the other modes because the game may not change the mode if they uh, detect the file you used during the previous run of the game for example i used uh, i used software with high resolution uh, high resolution without shading so if we run the game now again, we won't get these options. So we are deleting these files. This is because these options as well as the other options uh, that we saw here are supported by my PC. So as a result, you may not get these options for selecting the video driver. So we'll be using uh, DigiVoodoo now. If you click on this option, you will get the same, uh, same DigiVoodoo only. There's no difference.
so direct 3d mode also worked fine with digivoo do you may also run the 3d effects mode with digivoo do you won't have any problem with that also okay let's try to run the game with uh, digivoo do now so here it is we are running the game in 3d effects mode with digivoodoo Egg is cool. i just need to find the other keys So the game is running fine on glide mode with Digivoodoo also. As we saw the game running fine with N-Glide for, uh, for glide emulation in the starting of this video. So the recommended moves that I uh, tell for running the game on a modern PC is glide mode because this is the best mode that I saw because it has compatibility with N-Glide which is more compatible with various graphics cards. I have also seen many graphics card from AMD which do not work with Digivoodoo. So if you want the best compatibility for your hardware, then N-Glide for glide emulation is the way to uh, to run this game. However, if you have a more compatible, hard uh, compatible hardware from NVIDIA or also some latest uh, AMD hardware, then you may also try running the game with Digivoodoo on the software mode or the Direct3D mode. For me, Direct3D mode did not work with the native DirectX uh, libraries. So this may be the case for you or might not be the case. But if you want to run the game on uh, Direct3D mode, then Digivoodoo should do the work for you. And if you want to run the game on the software mode, then it should also work fine. But if it does not, then you can also use Digivo uh, Digivoodoo for that case. But please uh, note that if you are using the game with software renderer and Digivoodoo then the game will run in a smaller window. Let me show you now. We will be running the game on a uh, on high resolution with shading. Ok, we will try now high resolution without shading. So you can see that the game is running in a small window. Also, the mouse does not work in this case. So, for mouse compatibility, you either have to use Direct3D or Glide. Otherwise, you won't get mouse support as you saw here. But if you want the best compatibility, then use Glide emulation with NGlide. So, this is the end of the video here, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos and as always stay tuned for the more videos. Bye for now.